Hi! So today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way in order to paint in really fine details on your resin pieces, such as this one here. You can use this method on pretty much any resin piece that has indented details that you want to paint in. Painting in these details seems kind of difficult, but with this method it makes it super quick and easy. The piece I'm painting in this video is made from a mold I got from Cap Creations. I thought this piece would be perfect to demonstrate this technique since it's super detailed and the details are very small, but as you'll see it wasn't too difficult for me to fill in. So the materials you're going to need for this technique are q-tips and you're going to need a couple of them. You're also going to need a fine ball tool and if you don't have one of these you can also use a toothpick. They both work basically the same way. You're also going to need of course the paint that you want to fill in your piece with and to finish it off you're going to want a glaze that's safe for resin just to seal in the paint. You're also going to want a small amount of water and I'll show you how to use this later on. So the first step is to take your ball tool or your toothpick and your paint and start painting in any of the details that you want to fill in. And what makes this easy is that you can do this as messily as you want and we're going to fix it up afterwards. So it doesn't matter if you get paint on the front of your piece as long as all the details are completely filled in with the paint then that's all that really matters at this point. As you can see, I'm pretty much making a total mess of the front of my piece. I'm not really caring if I'm going outside the lines of the details or anything like that. As long as the paint is in the details, that's all that really matters. So if your piece is completely messy, that's okay. We're just going to fix it up later. And once you're done, you should have a piece that looks about as messy as the one I have here. Next, you're going to take your water and your Q-tip, and you're going to put a very, very small amount of water on the Q-tip. After you dip it like I do here, you should wipe it off on a paper towel as well because you only want a very small amount of water on there. Now you're just going to take your Q-tip and you're going to gently rub it over the details you had filled in with paint before. As you can see, this only leaves the details filled in with the paint and wipes away any of the excess that overspilled before. Make sure you do this very gently because otherwise you risk wiping away any of the paint you had actually gotten in the details. However, if you do accidentally wipe away some of the paint that's in the details, you can just go back with your paint and do some touch-ups later on. So this is what my piece looked like after the first cleanup. As you can see, I did accidentally wipe away some of the paint that was in the details, so I'm just going back with my paint and filling in anything that was left bare. It's much easier to do the touch-ups than it is to fill in the entire piece, but if you do go outside the lines again, then you can just go ahead with your Q-tip and clean it up once more. As you can see, my piece is a little bit messy after the touch-ups, so I'm just going to repeat this step with a Q-tip and make sure I wipe up all the excess paint. If the paint smears across the piece like mine did during your cleanup, just make sure that you clean up that as well. Just keep repeating the touch-ups and the cleanups until you're happy with how your piece looks. Once your paint is completely dry, you can take your glaze and you're just going to add an even coat over any of the parts that you have painted. I recommend doing at least two coats of glaze to ensure that the paint doesn't chip and to increase the durability of your piece. And once the glaze is dry, you're all done. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that this method makes painting resin pieces a little bit easier. You can leave any questions you have in the comments below and thank you so much for watching the tutorial. Bye!